Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our TD class. So, in the last class we tried Leap Motion for the first time, and implemented some of these interactive effects in our TD. We have learned how to control some visual elements in our TD through Leap Motion. We learned in the previous class about controlling the direction of Leap Motion. There are also several parameters such as size and rotate. In this lesson, we will improve our skills on the basis of the previous lesson. In the previous class, we learned about two-dimensional interaction position judgment. And in this class, we will move up one dimension. We will go up to three dimensions. What we're going to learn first in this lesson. I create a leap motion first. Here, first of all, we will learn how to map our hands onto our images. It is very simple to map the joint position information of our hand to our picture. Okay, then the second point, what we need to learn is how to trigger our hands in three-dimensional space like this. When we put our hands in, I encountered this model in three-dimensional space. There is a relative position, and we can also see a projection of our hand. Is completely projectable to our model. And we can see that we mainly use a three-dimensional triggering method here. You can see that our hands can surround the model. But when my hands enter the scope of the model, we will trigger it to have such an explosive effect. And there is a feeling that no one can touch it. I waved my hand like this and we could see the entire effect was triggered. Okay, let's save it. Open a new TD file. And we start today's study. Let's create a chop of leap motion first. This is the source of our entire data when we put our hands on it. We can see our hands are data. Then, for the convenience of everyone's observation, take out leap motion south visual camera and place it here. Here we have two hands, this is the data of the first hand. The upper part, this is our hand zero part. The data for hand one under the second hand. We need to extract some of the necessary data first. We just saw the case earlier, what information did we mainly extract from our hands? Look at this below, what's extracted is actually a joint information of our hands, each joint. So, 123, several joints, but we find, it seems that there is no information about our joints. Because we need to open the joint information on the right side. The last one is called finger joints, which is the information of our joints. If we look at it now, we will have more information about joints. Now the second question is how do we extract and filter out these joint information? We can see that is a very academic way to make the naming of each joint clear. It will be very inconvenient for us to extract them because we know that if we use select. Let's see here, if we use the asterisk, what effect can we achieve? If I use a hand here, the zero star will extract all data starting with hand zero which makes it very convenient for us to extract the same type of data. So, if the naming of our hand joints is consistent, we can easily extract it in select. So here we are going to switch to version 2 in this place API. Change to version 2. Let us see it again. 
Seeing this, the joint section is the joint information of all our hands. So we can easily extract the joint information of our hands. As for how to import the API of version 2 into TD, we have already talked about it in the last class, I won't go into detail in this class. What else do we have to do besides this? It is to change our fingers per hand to 5. We see that this piece is 2, which means that we only show 2 joints on each hand. Now we change it to 5, which is equivalent to showing all the joints of 5 fingers to it. Okay, now, this project is a case study from Lesson of the Gem Seed Touch Designer course. In the course, we provide an in-depth breakdown of the implementation principles behind this effect, along with additional creative interaction methods. But that's not all. The Gem Seed Touch Designer course offers 20 plus hours of content, continuously updated, 40 plus TOE and TOX learning files, integration with Kinect, Leap Motion, and other interactive devices. Ready to level up your touch designer skills? Get the course link in the description and comments. If you have any questions about Touch Designer, you can join my Discord to ask me questions and I will do my best to answer them all.